What's going on Rocket Power Sound Designers? Today we're giving out a free serum rhythm pack because our boy Dak Daniels just released a free serum pack with us and this base comes straight from that pack. So if you want to download the full serum presets and wavetables for free, click that link in the description. Anyways, this is what the base sounds like. So yeah, some OG rhythm kind of style basses here. So like I said, this bass comes straight from our Dak Daniels X Rocket Powered Sound Pack, which is released right now today. You guys can download it 100% free. In the description, we have a bunch of serum presets and a bunch of serum wavetables. So that is something that you guys are definitely gonna wanna check out. Anyways, let's get straight into today's video. Now, the OG sound comes or uh, is required with a wavetable from the pack and that wavetable is going to be available in the description like I said but if you don't want to use that wavetable we're going to be doing that right now we're going to be switching up a little bit so anyways we're going to start off with um, oscillator A turned on and in the original sound we're using a preset called Cy Cyrax Factory I believe it's called but Anyways, we're gonna be using Monster 8 because they are pretty similar. Uh, Monster 8 is kind of like a squarified growly waveform, which is perfect, uh, especially for this kind of rhythm. So we're gonna start off by just kind of taking a listen to what Monster 8 sounds like by itself. It's a squarified vocal waveform. I actually believe it's, I think it's Monster 9 squarified which is what it is, I'm pretty sure. Uh, but anyways, we're gonna start by turning up the unison, up three. So we have three voices, or three of these waveforms playing at a single time. Let me turn up the master a little bit. All right, we need to turn on that detune. It's a little bit too much for us. And yeah, that, that should do it for the sound so far. And we're also going to drop the level of um, the offsetter A down, and we're gonna be modulating that with LFO number one. So we're modulating the wave tilt position and the level. The reason we're doing that is just to create our basis for the movement of the sound. So right away, we get the classic rhythm sound. We're also gonna turn on a little bit of noise here. Um, nothing too special, nothing too crazy. Just drop down the level of this AC hum and modulate that up as well. So we're starting out with a little bit of noise here to, to kick it off. Perfect. So uh, we're going to kick it right into the filter now. The filter is going to actually be shaping the sound quite a bit here. Now all we're going to be doing is going into our filters like the multis. Now the multis are um, the collections of the filters that aren't just the basic low pass or that basic high pass. It's a combination of the two. So, if we take a look, we have a low high pass, low band pass, low peak, low notch, low band, or high band, <laughs> high, and then it just, the list keeps going on until the end here. And then we have three times the combinations down here. But today's video, we're gonna be working with the high notch filter. So, we wanna drop this cutoff down to 28 hertz and we're gonna be modulating this up. So as you can see, moving the cutoff, we're moving the high pass knob. It's clearly just a high pass and we're gonna be modulating that up to about halfway. Turn up that resonance and that's gonna create a lot sharper of an effect and also a little bit vocal. Very, very simple. Turn up that drive just to give it a little bit more disto and frequency. That notch we want to cut out. So the, the high pass filter is like this, cutting out the high end, and then the notch is just like an inverted peak filter, and it's just like this moving across. Um, but we're not gonna be modulating the notch, we're just gonna be leaving around here. We're going to be cutting out this single frequency. Without the filter, with the filter. It just helps shape the sound a little bit more. And the filter is really going to become evident what it's actually doing once we start to get into the effects and turn on things like distortion and the multiband. Now, let's go ahead and start off with a little bit of hyper dimension. Now, we're gonna leave the hyper 
at around 35% on the wet. And the hyper wet is kind of creating a nice, like almost detuned sound. Now for the dimension, normally I advise against putting values higher than 5% on the size, just because it gets like, but for this particular bass, we're actually gonna be sticking it around the halfway point. And uh, mix is gonna go down to about 30%. So it's actually, there's actually a lower value on the mix than there is on the size. And that is something that you almost never see in my tutorials. But this is the, the sound design of Dak Daniels and he's switching it up a little bit. We're also gonna stick this on trigger. Perfect. All right, so multi-band compressor. Turn on the compressor, move this all the way up here, next, right under the hyper and dimension. And we're just gonna turn on the multi-band button. Boom, instant multi-band compressor. Now we're starting to bring out some of the hidden frequencies like the noise. Um, as, as you can see, we're starting off not at complete zero. So it's picking that up and it's like, oh, all right, the noise level starting off is not high enough. So, okay, we need to compensate for that. So what the multiband compressor is doing is it's raising the noise level starting out and then almost evening out the sound throughout the levels of the sound, I should say. All right, now we're gonna turn on distortion. Distortion is going to shape the sound up a little bit. Um, let's turn down the mix. Turn up the drive. And we're just gonna cycle through a few. Definitely not linear fold. But diode seems to crisp up the sound pretty good. So that's diode one. And we're just going to leave it at just about there. Now we're going to turn on something that not a lot of people use the way we're going to be using it. We're going to be using the phaser. I know, pretty bizarre the way that, because normally if you watch my tutorials, we drop the rate all the way down to zero, turn off BPM sync, drop the depth and the depth to 20 or to 5% or zillah, <laughs> to 0% frequency to 20 hertz and uh, it kind of emulates like a guitar amp. Now, if we do that in the sound, it, it does sound pretty good, but we're actually gonna be using the phaser for a completely different purpose. So let's leave it around four bars. Turn up the depth all the way. Frequency to around 600 Hertz, and we're gonna be modulating the frequency down. Um, oops. So if we go into the matrix, we can correct this. We don't want it going all the way from negative to positive. We want it to just go in one linear direction. Okay, so it sounds super, super hardcore. We want to turn on the feedback and eliminate that. And we can just leave the mix at around there because right now the feedback's handling um, the you know presence of the effect, which is pretty good. And that's gonna take us straight to the filter. Now for the filter, wait, I'm OCD, we got about this whole stuff. Not OCD in real life, but like this bugs me when this stuff's not in perfect order. So we're gonna drag the filter up here and now we're gonna turn on the combs. Now, I believe I did use the combs filter in the last tutorial. The combs filter is one of those filters that is very, um, it's like an underdog in Serum, I'd say. You know, not too many people use it, they're always freaking messing with the reverb filter, which is just way overused, especially if you go on dubstep gutter. But we're not gonna be on dubstep gutter, we're gonna be on the rhythm network today. <laughs> so go into miscellaneous and we're gonna go to combs. Turn up this cutoff a little bit, right there. And we're gonna be modulating this backwards. Now it doesn't make that incredible of an effect just yet because we haven't turned up the resonance. Let's turn up the resonance and see what kind of sound we're dealing with. Turn up the drive a tad bit. Okay. We gotta turn on the master because now we're clipping that. Turn off the filter. Turn it back on. It just kind of thickens it up and beefens it up as well. All right, guys. So 
What do you say we finish this off with a little bit of reverb and there is one last thing that we're gonna be modulating and we're gonna be creating a little bit of vibrato. Reverb settings are completely up to you. Excuse me. <laughs> so into the matrix, we're going to turn on LFO number two. So let's select LFO two. I'm gonna be routing this straight to the master amp. Now this parameter is gonna be used as vibrato. Now we can turn this amount up to whatever we desire. Turn this on trigger. Now this is where it's up to you to determine what you want to do in your own sound. You can turn this down and have a slight vibrato. Make it fast. I kind of like it like that, but like I said, guys, this is your sound, not mine. Let me know what you guys think about this tutorial and stay tuned because we have a lot of new artist packs that are going to be coming up soon. Not to mention our serum pack that's going to be launched on September 29th. If you guys aren't already on the early access list, make sure you guys hop on that because we have a shit ton of bonuses that cannot be found anywhere else on our site. Um, but I'll be getting into that into later videos. Anyways, guys, make sure you guys, I keep saying guys, 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 make sure you guys, <laughs> all right, um, fellow rocket powered sound designers, make sure you grab a copy of uh, this free pack. It's literally just a free serum pack with wavetables, serum presets, all for free. And if you're missing out on that, I don't even know what to tell you. That's just on you because that's a free serum pack that you're missing out on. Uh, and I don't know why you would want to miss out on that. Um, anyways, guys. Ah, there's some good coffee. I'm Shane from Rocket Powered Sound. And I will catch you guys in the next video.